Is time running out for the people of Kiev? The clock ticking not for the political future, but for the economy. Financial experts have warned Ukraine is on the brink of default, with some saying currency reserves are enough for only two months. Russia has provided the first $3 billion tranche of a loan. With the political standoff, the rest has been frozen. It is necessary to form a government that won't irritate Europeans and Americans. At the same time, this has to be a government that can go to Russia and get money, that second tranche from Russia. It's not the immediate which concerns some analysts, but building an economy which will grow after implementing reforms. To do that, they argue, there is only one way to go. Definitely for the markets and for Ukraine's economy overall, it would be much better if we get uh, IMF support, because IMF help means that uh, the government, the authorities will make some reforms which will put Ukraine's economy on a more sustainable Putin and uh, Russia's support just means that we get money and spend them basically to pay uh, to repay for gas imported from Russia. There's been a decline in the value of exports. The public purse is paying out to a growing number of pensions. Many fear for the economic legacy. Credit, no, na hroshich. If it is a loan which is agreed with good conditions, then it doesn't matter from where. But the loan has to be given back, and that's disastrous for us, for our children, our grandchildren, and great grandchildren.